Welcome boys and girls. We are now going to take the CAD parts that you made and put them together using the skills we've learned by making the table and chairs. All right. First thing you need to have is your Tinkercad parts open and kind of laid out off of the work plane. So go ahead and move them all off the work plane. You also need to have the orthographic picture open or this video because I'll be referring to it. All right. First thing you notice is on this orthographic view, this is kind of pointing to the left. Let's take a look at mine, all right? And right now, if I rotate mine, there we go. Oh, mine's pointing to the right. So I'm just gonna rotate mine around, there we go. So now my side rails, the yellow ones, are pointing the same direction as my picture. That's just gonna help make things a little easier. So go ahead and get yours oriented, zoom in, zoom out, and get your setup in a nice view like this. Okay, we are gonna start by combining this blue base block with this yellow side rail. Okay, so let's pull a blue base block anywhere onto my work plane. All right, all the other parts should be off the work plane. So pull a blue base block out. All right. Now we're going to bring this yellow piece out, whoop, and we're going to get everything lined up. So let's use the align tool. I'm going to select both of them, choose a line, and I don't want the blue one to move, so I'm going to click on the blue one to lock it in place. And then I can click on these little dots, oops, till we get it, there we go, perfect. All right, so get yours lined up just like that. Pause the video. Excellent. Now if we look at our orthographic drawing, we notice that this blue block is on the bottom and the yellow one is sitting on top of it. So let's go back to our design. We need to raise up the yellow one. How far? There's two ways to do it. The hard way is we can click on here and okay, that's 10 millimeters and then you can raise this up 10 millimeters. All right, yeah. That kind of works, but that takes a while. All right, or here's a faster way. Click work plane, click on top of here, on top of the blue, and then we're gonna click on the yellow side rail and press the letter D for drop. D for drop on your keyboard. Look at that, it drops it right to the work plane. All right, easy to do. So why don't you do that? Click work plane, the top of the blue one, click on the part and hit D for drop. Pause video. Excellent. All right. Now, if you notice, if you look here, there's a little bit of an offset. This, this yellow side rail is set back on the blue base just a little bit. So let's look at our measurements down here and figure out how far. Well, we have 0.7 or 7.5, but that's how far back the pink gusset is. We have 30. This looks like it's going to the dowel. And if we come down here, we got 12.5. Oh, there we go. We go right to the yellow side rail and from our base. So 12.5, let's remember that. I'm gonna click on my blue base. I'm gonna grab a ruler. I'm gonna put a ruler. See how this corner needs to turn red? See how it's not turning red? If it doesn't turn red, just rotate it around a little bit. There we go. All right, and then rotate your ruler so it looks like mine. Okay, so step one, make sure the work plane's on the top, click on the base, and stick a ruler right there in that corner. You do it. Excellent. Now we can move the yellow piece over 12.5. So if I start dragging it over, all right, it's going as 9, 10, 13. Nope. Uh, 12. Nope. Okay, what do I have to do here? Well, I'm just going to type in 12.5. You're going to have to type it in. Okay, and then this should be zero. If this changes, that means that this is no longer even. See, if I push this back, that's four. Oh, that needs to be not four. It's got to be zero. So you undo. So we got 12.5 and we got zero. Pause the video. Take care of yours. All right, next up, I'm going to get rid of the ruler. We're going to do the other yellow one. I'm going to bring that over. It's the wrong height. I already have my work plane on top of my base. I'm gonna just press the letter D to drop it to the work plane. And then holding shift, I can click on the base and the side rail. We can use the align tool. First thing, make sure you lock the base in. Lock in the base and get yours lined up perfectly in the corner. Pause the video. All right, now we're gonna make sure the work plane's still on the base, on top of the base here. We're gonna pull out a ruler and we're gonna set our offset. Make sure that the corner lights up red. And you might have to rotate the ruler. All right, now we know from last time that was 
five. So I'm gonna start dragging this over. Six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, I, I un, unaligned it. This one to two, so I'm gonna make that a zero. And then this one needs to be a 12.5. Okay, it doesn't even look right. Why did that? Oh, there. Okay, so there we go. We got, oh, oh, see how this is a one? And it's lined up. That's because I didn't get that in the corner. So I need to delete my ruler. I need to make sure that I get it right in the corner. There we go. Now if I click on this, there we go. Now it's zero and 12.5. So make sure you get this in the corner because I didn't. All right, you do it. When you're sure that both of these are 12.5, I'm going to click both of them. And I'm going to hit a line. Or I'm going to hit group. Sorry, I'm going to hit group. That way, if something happens, boom, they both move, and I know something's not right. So I group the two yellow ones. I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground, and let's add our last one, this blue piece. Easy, hold, select the base and the side rails, click align, lock the side rail in place, and then you can line it up. There we go, all right. Now, how do you get the offset? Well, I'm going to align this one with the other blue one. Again, I don't want this one to move because that's my new, that's the one that's in the right spot. And I can click right here. And now that's perfectly aligned. So what did I do? I aligned the blue thing with the yellow first. Click align, click on the yellow so it doesn't move. And that one. And then I aligned the blue with the front blue one. Click align again, but I locked this one in because that one's in the right spot. And then I could move it over. All right, group those two blue ones. Perfect. All right, take a screenshot of that and turn that into the document. Great work today.